All right, OC, you got one year under your belt at Purdue. Just talk about comparison between this year and last year. What do you think you've gotten better at and what you're still trying to hone in on and improve? Uh, last year, I was a backup linebacker behind Jay Alexander, and I feel like last year it definitely allowed me to watch the game, learn the game, improve what I did get in the game. Um, you know, just get a good feel for the game because all I did was pay much. So coming here last year just really provided me the opportunity to see the field, um, learn how the uh, Big Ten works and everything like that. And as opposed to this year, I've taken on more like a leadership role, um, stepping up, first team, just trying to be the best player I can. What was your focus in the offseason? My focus in the offseason was definitely my plays, um, flexibility, getting in shape, just being able to be durable, you know, uh, limit injuries as much as possible. Was last year frustrating a lot for you? Um, a little bit, but you know, at the end of the day, I had to understand that I was playing behind some really good linebackers. You know, Jalen had 120 tackles, you know, so I had to realize, you know, I'm playing behind a really good linebacker. And I just used that year as a year to gain knowledge, you know, develop more confidence in myself and confidence in my teammates. What do you do best? Uh, run and hit. That's, that's what I live by. That's what I love to do. Run and hit. And, you know, I love it. You know, it, it's not, you can't be a linebacker if you can't hit. And I have the ability, you know, that most linebackers will have to run at a pretty, you know, a fast speed. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's definitely where I'm best at. Do you feel like playing time you got last season on um, the special teams units, do you think that's helped you at all uh, in terms of your uh, linebacker spot right now running with the ones? Oh, uh, yes, definitely, definitely. Um, I started on three of the four special teams last year and got every rep, every game. So I feel like that really allowed me, you know, to still, like, like I said earlier, get a good feel for the game, you know, work on my hands, work on foot placement, everything like that. You're playing on the weak side and in the middle, right? Uh, yes, sir. I've been training at both uh, wheel linebacker and middle linebacker. What's the strength of this unit, the linebacking unit? The strength of the unit is all of us, you know, being honed in, being able to, you know, we're all, I would say we're all in one. We're all locked down what we have to do every day. I feel like we all work really hard. So I feel like there's not really like a weak link in our linebacker unit, whether it's the wheel, Mike or Sam, everybody's coming to the ball. Everybody knows their assignment and what they have to do. What's the... Uh... How much do you guys lean on the Karen and Samisi, you know, the six-year guy and a seventh-year guy? I mean, how, how how much do you guys really rely on them to kind of kind of guide you through some things because they have that kind of experience? Yeah, uh, we definitely uh, rely on uh, Katie and Samisi a lot because, like you said, the experience. You know, them being in college, uh, returning for the sixth and seventh year. You know, that's like most. A lot of teams don't have that, you know, and being able, you know, for them to be in college that long, they have a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge that they pass on down to me, Clyde, uh, Wally, everybody. Do you want to play for seven years? No, not necessarily. <laughs> no, nah, not me. You know, I'm trying to get it in, you know, trying to do what I can.